All right, this is the first episode of Vinny's Apron. I'm Vinny, by the way, and this is my apron. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and make simple bread. The whole reason I decided to do a little cooking show is so that I can uh, show people how to make simple things they can make at home. And it's things that we eat every day, but we everybody used to make these at one point. Nobody does anymore. And so I kind of want to bring that back. We all should know how to make bread. It's a simple thing. Um, first, thing I'm going to start off. Um, with some water. I've got a, just a mason jar of water just because I had it around and it was easy. I am going to take my mixing bowl and I'm going to fill this up with two and a quarter cups. So I'll, this is just a one cup measuring. So I'll fill it up with one cup, dump it in, fill it up with another cup, dump it in. And then there's a little quarter cup line. I'll fill it up there and I am done. I will dump that in. Once I dump that in, uh, Sorry, Utah, it's kind of dry here. Once I dump that in, I'm going to put in one package of yeast. You'll notice that this is a Rapid Rice Fleischmann. This is just a generic brand, store brand. And then this is the Active Dry. Um, you can use any one of these. I, I like these Rapid Rice and I use this. Um, it helps it to get through that rising process a little faster. So you'll notice there's three, three different sections. I usually get scissors and cut off one section. That one amount, this one package, is all I need. So I'll dump that in there and I'll wait 10 minutes. In this case, I've already waited 10 minutes, uh, so I don't have to do that right now. Now that I've waited that 10 minutes, I'm going to put in four cups of flour. Now this is, uh, this is bread flour. You can use any kind of flour as you mix this up. I have another different, just a generic unbleached flour, and I, I can throw that in there. Four cups that I'll put in here. One thing I want you to notice is this blade. I'm going to take that off. This is a regular mixing blade, and this is kind of to help keep the bowl clean as you're mixing cake batter, cupcake batter, cookie batter. We don't want that. We can't use that for this particular practice. I have to have a kneading hook. And this is a special mixer hook that I use just for mixing my bread. And I put that on there and let that do all the hard work for me. If I leave one of those other um, ones on there, it, it'll actually probably break my blender. It's just bread is so thick that it'll just ruin it. Um, now that I've got that on there, I've got four cups of flour in here. I'm going to add some brown sugar. So, in this case, just have some generic brown sugar. I'm going to use three tablespoons, three tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm going to take my three tablespoons, put it in there, and I am done. Then, I want to use some vegetable oil, this canola oil, different kinds of oils that you can use. I need to put in one tablespoon of oil. I cheat, put in two tablespoons sometimes. Once that in, is in there... Then I can turn on my mixer. I can put this down in and I can let it go to town and mix it up. In this case, I already did all that. Um, as it's mixing, I'll see that it gets more and more. I'm going to stop this for a second, mix in another cup. So I'm at five cups now. Mix that in, let it go again for uh, about 10 minutes, just maybe five minutes actually, just mixing in that next cup. And then I'm gonna add in one more cup of flour. Remember, I've got that cup of flour here. I'm gonna mix that in again, let it go for another five minutes. Now again, in total, I've got six cups. If it seems a little wet, you might need an extra quarter cup, half cup, three quarters cup. Don't go more than that, but it really depends on your altitude. In this case, I did the six cups. I haven't gone over and I let this now, I'll actually um, lift this up and some people take it out of here and put it into a special bowl because, and sometimes they mix it here. I haven't done that. I like to leave it in this bowl and I actually cover it with a, with a cloth. I'll just cover just this uh, bowl and let it sit for two hours. Now, during that two hours, it's I'm just letting it rise, and it's gonna come up, usually overflow the bowl, the top of the bowl a little bit. Don't worry, it's not gonna spill all over. It's just gonna rise up to the, to the cloth and kind of meet that. Once that two hours is up and I've seen that it's risen, I actually pull this off, and I put the blender down in there again, and I let that, again, knead up my bread dough for just a minute. 
once I've kneaded that bread dough, um, I will actually, and I, and I just do that for a minute, I stop it again, and this time, I'm going to take off my bread hook, I'm going to take my dough off of my bread hook, and I try and clean that up as best I can so I don't have to do any more work later. I just set that to the side. Now that I've got this kneaded up again after waiting the two hours, I'm going to take this out. And I'm going to throw it here onto my floured surface. Now I threw some flour on my uh, cutting board and I'm going to knead this up. Once I've kneaded enough, I'm going to cut it in half because this is two loaves worth of dough. And in this case, I'm just going to let that sit in there for just a minute um, because this one's really not risen the full two hours. So I'm going to let that finish the rise. But because I've already done that part, I'm going to take some bread pans and I'm going to take just a paper, paper towel and I'm going to put some oil on it and I'm going to spread some oil on my bread pans. I am then going to take... Some cornmeal and I sprinkle it on my bread pans and once I finish that then I plunk my bread dough that I've kind of rounded out into a little ball I'll put that in the middle of each of those bread pans you can see that's ready to go what I need to do then again is let this sit for half an hour and it seems like a lot of time but you'd be surprised how quick that half hour goes as you're waiting for it because you can smell the bread. It's the, the bread has been rising and you're starting to smell that bread and it smells good. While it's waiting that last half hour, while I'm waiting for uh, this to rise inside of the bread dough areas, I need to turn on my oven, get it up to 350. Half an hour is plenty of time to do that. And once I've let these rise up again, so it's kind of overflowing my, my uh, bread pans, once I've done that, I am going to go ahead and just throw it right into the oven. And I'm gonna leave it in the oven for 30 minutes. And once I'm done with that, I have two beautiful looking loaves. I'll pull them out of the oven. And right away, as soon as I get them out of the oven, I take them out of the bread pans and I let them cool on that cooling rack. That cooling rack lets them kind of finish cooking and it also allows it to, uh, I noticed if I leave it in the bread pans, it'll actually get a lot of humidity and moisture around the outside of the bread. It actually makes it hard to get it out of the bread pan. So I always dump it out as soon as I get it out of the oven. I just carefully slide it out of those things. You want to be careful and handle those with some kind of oven mitts or something. Those are obviously going to be very, very hot. Once I'm done, I let these sit for 10 minutes. And as soon as they're done now, after I've waited that 10 minutes, I've been waiting a long time for this, as you can imagine. I cut off my perfect piece of bread. And now I can go ahead and I've got... I can throw on some butter on my bread, or I can do a bunch of other things that I can throw on it. But that's it. Um, after that last half hour in the oven, I'm now done. So this took me three hours altogether uh, to go ahead and get this from just flour and oil and a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of yeast, and a little bit of salt. I was able to get this to bread, my own bread. And right now, here are two loaves. Got two more coming up in a minute. Um, this is fresh bread that I made myself. Easy to have two loaves of bread every day because when you're getting ready in the morning, you can go ahead and prep some of this and get it ready. Um, depending on how long you take, I usually can have it in the oven if I get up early enough. And when everyone else wakes up, they have fresh bread straight out of the oven. One of the things you can do too is do all this prep the night before and let it sit overnight, um, depending on how cool it is in your house, you can let that sit overnight. And because you've let it sit overnight the next morning, you can pull it out and you can uh, you can knead it, get it cut into the halves and put it in the bread pan, let it rise for just a half an hour in the morning, 
throw that in the oven for half an hour. It's only taken me an hour that morning to prep it. And I can do that right when I wake up, go jump in the shower. By the time I get out of the shower, I've got some fresh bread. That's all for today. This is Vinny's Apron. Thanks for joining us, you guys, and hope you enjoy your first loaf of bread.